quickly, we are dealing with the IEA debates and the NCC also coming in and there's been, you know, sort of a, a tag. We are unable to play some of the sounds that uh, led to the engagement between the two entities. But, Kweku, is this, is this uh, a useful exercise? Um, why should we have problems? IEA has distinguished itself as uh, having done this job for the last uh, how many years, you know? Yeah, you know, I've been thinking, wondering, why all this noise? Quite a lot of it be needless. And why is it that when it comes to the debate, the presidential debate thing, that's where there's a certain IE phobia or, you know, some people being uncomfortable with IE. Because over the years, we have virtually, and perhaps I'm using the wrong word, acquiesce mm. in IE's participation in the governance projects. Okay. Very serious legislative pieces that have transpired and being consolidated in our body politic. IEA was part of those either exclusively sponsoring them oh. or as a participant, major ones. And I'm sure you would know some of them, the presidential, if you look here, they, they, they have a, a booklet when they celebrated their 25th anniversary, mm -hmm. the repeal of the criminal libel and seditious laws, 2001, passage of the Serious Road Office Act, 1993, passage of the Whistleblowers Act 2006, the passage of the Presidential Transition Act 2012. A very so many, yes, very yeah. significant contribution. The contribution to the Petroleum Revenue Management Act 2011, and so many of them. Public financing of political parties bill, yes. Yes. the political parties code. They have a mm. political parties program, Ghana mm. political parties program, platform. where they sit, platform rather, mm. they sit with these parties. They collaborate with the chairman and the general secretary. Indeed, some founding. Mm. And the recent electoral commission's reform project, the electoral commission set up a committee. Mm -hmm. It was a EC committee. Quite a lot of the funding and sponsorship came from the IE, and okay. they themselves were participants. So here is a group that has virtually been integrated, has become an integral part of the governance process. Mm. Why is it that we acquiesce? We deal with them, we do everything, no problems. When it comes to the presidential debate segment, uh, there's so much noise. Mm. I think that is a question that they, they announced it even before seeking to consult uh, the <coughs> candidates to find how what their leisure is or what See, times I've their also, schedules I've been are. checking. I've been checking records over the years. Mm. Apparently, what they did this time was no different from what they've been doing all the time. Okay. They set general th th timelines. And then they announced that they will be negotiating with the parties. And I've seen records, right. well-documented records, mm. interactions between them and the parties and things. Okay? So, again, that's not a fatal injury. Assuming without admitting that they did put in front, uh, in the public domain, some timelines. It wasn't casting iron. Mm. That is subject to amendment. And in their statement, which I didn't know, I got it just this morning. Okay. Apparently... That is made clear about the timelines, the fact that the broad, uh, the, that they will check the timelines. It says we have uh, the exact dates, times, and venues for these events will be discussed with the presidential aspirants mm. and will provide the general public with confirmation shortly. Right. So the timelines they set were not casting eye on. Okay. Why should that be a problem? And then very quickly about the NCCE, they also say they are going to do one which they, they, they are calling a presidential dialogue rather than debate. Well, they are welcome from their long slumber. They're woken up suddenly. They are welcome. Mm. Because I, have a, I will not be the one to say that we should restrict the methodologies or the platforms when it comes to ventilating these things and getting people access to political education. So I'm unable to suggest that the NCC has no right to come in here. And I'm not sure IE has claimed monopoly as mm. well. No, they so, suggested that they do not have the capacity to do such a project. That's, that's a value judgment they made. Mm. Let's see what mm. NCC can do. But the truth is that it been asleep for too long and virtually lost the moral high ground to deal with presidential debates. They also have so many things to do that they aren't doing because perhaps they're under-resourced, okay, over the years. Or perhaps the public hasn't given them much focus. There's a lot for them to do. Mm. You see, there's one thing that is, of course, unpopular with majority of the parties. Okay. This idea of uh, the two 
main, candidates. main candidates. Yeah. That's you should expect, predictably, mm. will be unpopular. Right. With the majority of the parties mm. who won't get a chance to join that to, uh, the two gentlemen. Mm. Okay, so I can understand them. I appreciate that in terms of their sentiments. But when I read their statement, too, they said, exploring the possibility. Ability. It means that it's not casting eye on. So why the noise? But, but we seem to have clamored for that, haven't yes, we? Yeah, in terms of the public yes. sentiment. But again, there are some who have also said, why do you say parties with representation? in parliament. Uh, some of those, and I'll mention names, were beneficiaries of that criti criterion. Mm, Dr. Indu. Not Well, <laughs> I don't mention names. Well, he's the one who is loudest <laughs> on the issue. So he, he, mm. was, he was a beneficiary. Right. At that time, he didn't mm. see anything wrong with it. OK, interesting. Now, um, Amato, what, what, why do we get here? And you hear Jean say, for example, she said, I thought we had matured. And that every year, every election year, we get to this point and issues are cropping up about whether or not we will let our candidate attend or will not let our candidate attend. What, what is the problem? <laughs> I think she's um, responding to general public <coughs> outcry in a rush. Because I don't think any of the political parties have officially written to her on this matter yet. Oh, but they are speaking. Their leaders are talking. Yeah, but Kofi uh, Adams is the national organizer of the NDC. You and see? if he says that what she's doing amounts to, as it were, commandeering them. A headmistress kind of behavior. Yes. You see, um, when you are dealing with a group of people and you know that their involvement is crucial for the success of your program, and I work for an organization that deals with people across board mm. in the country, you need to kind of have a stakeholder consultation ahead of announcing your final, your final decisions or programs. She may say that what she has said is not final, but you put it in the public domain. You might pencil something down to discuss with your stakeholders, your major stakeholders, come to some sort of agreement before you go public. What has been put out there is the same thing as... Now you have gone public mm. and the people are reacting in a way that... Some of them are expressing their views that they are not comfortable with the way you want to organize the whole thing. Again, I would expect that the political parties program is to grow the political parties across board mm. in this country mm. and not limit it to those quote unquote leading ones. So but they do for all the parties, not yeah, the but they must If they are doing for the two candidates, they are also going to do for the others. And in fact, they do for vice presidential candidates. Yes, but. I find it untenable that they would limit their activities to parties with representation in parliament, for example. Because how do we grow the other parties Even on the, the on US the fringes criteria. so yeah. that they can also Everyone. become successful political parties? We have in this country, we have virtually now have a two-party system mm. in this country where in any election, the NDC and the MPP will gather over 98-99% of the, of the votes and leave the rest seven or eight or nine or ten or twelve to share the one point something percent of the vote. But Those that is not good enough. Grow, they won't grow because you, you, of are saying, you, see, what, what? you are saying yeah. you are saying yeah. that yeah. there yeah. should be a presidential debate you might go to the that caters party. for one platform that caters for the over two dozens of uh, political parties in Ghana. What I'm saying is that not not I, I didn't limit my argument to only the presidential. I'm mm. saying that they have a political parties program. Yes, generally in this country, and that should, they should be making effort to try and grow some of the smaller parties so that they can also also come up through various programs that they have, and also through because they've been funding some of the programs. Mm. If you limit it to only the three four parties which are represented in in. In Parliament, it means that you are not helping the others. Okay, you see. But others, so, what are they doing <laughs> to themselves? For themselves? Yeah, but you have agreed, a limited resources. Agreed, but yeah. you want if, to if you've taken it upon growth, yourself you to help the political process in this country so that it can grow, you target. then you should do it across best board. practice. And not, best yeah. practice. What's done in the U.S. Best practice. Well, you don't. You don't. Uh, you don't have all the parties. They don't have uh, the kind of. Uh, uh, problems that we have. Mm. Every program should be tailored to the specific needs. Okay. Should the NCC also country? do what it's saying it's doing? It's been I doing. I think they should do more. It's been doing a, a a national dialogue series quarterly, which I have been the the standing host 
for quite a while now. I get the suggestion they are giving is that they are also what they are going to do is going to be a presidential dialogue, which means it will take the same format. Yeah. And what they do with the dialogue series is that they go to the people in the hinterlands and elsewhere. They do a survey. They get the views of the people on their pressing needs. And then they assemble the people with the expertise and do a dialogue, ask them, how do you answer to the need of these people? Is that what we need for a presidential you know, uh, election period? Um, that might be more suitable for local level politics than a national presidential debate. Mm. But I will agree that we need to give the Center for Civic Education the necessary financial resources for them to perform better than they are performing now. Okay. And they, sh they should be able to go, like you said they have been doing, yeah. to go to the constituencies and to the districts in order to get the people better informed of our political processes and get them to also participate in the political uh, arena. Okay. That, 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 yeah. would be that goes beyond better. presidential yeah. debate. You say they should do more. Yeah. And, and just, I, I, I'm wondering why, you know, we, we don't seem to pay attention to how important this entity has become in, in our political ar arrangement, the IEA. And I'm looking, for example, at the, at the, at the uh, State of the Nation Address delivered by President Mills on the Thursday, the 25th of February, 2010. And these are some of the comments that he made, endorsing the IEA and what it does, reconciliation, inter-party collaboration. He says, Madam Speaker, this kind of inter-party collaboration should be a regular feature of our national reconciliation agenda. We cannot impose reconciliation by legislation. Genuine reconciliation must come from the heart and can only come from humility and uh, contriteness, and perhaps also from a spirit of forgiveness. The Ghana Political <coughs> Party's program of the Institute of Economic Affairs has been forged out of voluntary will of the four political parties with representation in parliament, not by any legislation. And he goes ahead to say that this demonstrates uh, what can be done. In fact, uh, there's another speech of his that I have uh, looked at and, and uh, uh, circled some other things yeah. that he said. So uh, this one too, he said, Madam Speaker, several areas of our governance agenda require legislative intervention. Fortunately, the IEA sponsored Ghana Political Platforms Program, which is made up of all the political parties with representation in Parliament, has agreed on. And then he lists a number of bills that they, they were seeking to sponsor. Um, should we have any doubts? about their capacity, about their credibility in doing these things. Because you hear some of the parties, and they seem to suggest some uh, discredit. Well, I think the, what the IEA has been doing over the years is it's not in doubt at all. Uh, I, 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 I think the debate is more about whether the NCC <coughs> will also do some. Mm. And I, I take the view that there probably should not be any restriction if any platform thinks they can promote um, policy accountability in these areas, they should have the liberty to, to proceed. But, uh, but can they do uh, it like uh, the IEA will do? Some I, I've heard well, uh, other, other, other of your colleagues also suggest that even media houses should think seriously about also hosting presidential debates so that we can have more than one to exhaust the well, issue. Presidential debate. I, 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 Many I, other methods. Exactly. Yeah, all FM, you are doing something about ballot box. Yes. Fantastic ballot idea. Box, yeah. mm. all, I, all I'm saying is that there should not be any restriction. Mm. Uh, I will not say the IA is doing anything wrong. If the NCC also wants to do something, we cannot say because well, the IA is doing something, they should not be allowed to do it. Okay. So on the part of the NPP, we have not received any, any formal uh, proposal from either the IA or the NCC. Mm. The next eloquent you may want to check because the NCC said they have sent letters around well, well, yeah. and I've heard some of the party people say they've confirmed Well, if, if they've sent it, the party as a body has mm. not sat on it. Okay. So once uh, that happens, we would look at our own, the, the schedule for our own campaign mm. uh, and see and, and give an appropriate response. Okay. But in respect of, quickly, mm. in respect of the other sm smaller parties, mm. I think even though the party has not taken a position, speaking with many of our party leaders, the mood in the party mm. is that we want criteria that would include a lot of 
political parties. Because you see, the point of a political party is not just for elections. Mm. They are also to help, help shape public policy. Mm. So we would be more comfortable with criteria that would include as many political parties mm. uh, as possible. That, that's what we feel. Yeah, as thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Isaac, let, let's hear yeah. Isaac in some but 30 seconds. Sorry, yeah. we are running out of time. Sorry, so let's hear Isaac. Where yes. Do what, what do you make of this? Yeah, I, Should we have more than one or two? Because yes, I think that's what I the think question that, is. I think that what is happening uh, suggests that a lot of people agree that some engagement of the presidential candidates mm. will help and better inform the people as to policy options that are available. Right. Uh, IEA should take whatever is coming up as part of the discourse. Mm. I mean, you've thrown into the system one option that the people are not familiar with. And so you expect some feedback. Mm. So instead of thinking it is a resentment, they should rather see it as some of the, uh, some of the uh, what do you call it, the feedback that they are getting in order to be able to improve uh, the format that they, they, they would apply so that there can be that general acceptability by everybody. All right. But for NCC, uh, like we are all saying, it shouldn't be the monopoly of one organization. If they can do a good job, of course, let's encourage them to do it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. And already you hear some of the party people speaking for and against one body or the other. <laughs> Interesting how the two major parties do things uh, around the place. Now, uh, this is where we draw the curtains. I'm sorry I'm unable to read uh, the text messages that you have sent in anymore. Uh, this one, okay, so let me just uh, close, uh, draw the curtains down here and say that my guests have been Abdul Malik Kubako, Editor-in-Chief of the New Crusading Guide newspaper. Eric Ametokwame is Communications Consultant with the NHIA and member government communications team. Kweku Kwateng is MP for Boise West, member finance committee of parliament. Isaac Adungo is financial analyst and NDC parliamentary aspirant for Bolga Central. Also, we were joined on the phone by Ace Anan Ankoma, who is with Occupy Ghana. I'm Samson Ladia Yenini, and the show was produced by Sami Odami with uh, support from David Odru Badu, uh, Emmanuel Ante, Matilda Womega, Nicholas Op Opoku Oponi, and Victor Brache. Have a good afternoon. The show is repeated at 10 at 9.30 here on this uh, station. My outfit, as always, is supplied by Latida. Get some Latida shirts and feel uh, confident and excited in them. Have a good afternoon.